Hello everybody, welcome back to a vlog. Today I'm starting the vlog on a very different day. It's actually a Friday and I am about to go to Sheffield because I'm actually reviewing the new menu at a pizza restaurant called The Three Joes. I'm 99% sure that is what it's called. But yeah, it's called The Three Joes and they asked if I wanted to go down and try their menu. They've updated it. I think they've like closed for a bit and refurbished. And I was like, actually that works really, really well because you know, I kind of always, <laughs> Always want to go to Matterhall, uh, always want to do shopping, but also with it being like a Friday, Tom actually has Friday afternoons off work so we can like go together and like eat and shop and stuff. So I'm about to head there now, but yeah, I'm gonna head off. I'm excited. It's a sourdough pizza restaurant, which is like so just one of my favorites, really. I'm gonna show you my outfit really quick. It's quite simple, but I do really like it. I have these ripped jeans on with this top, which is actually from Urban Outfitters, and then this Miss Cap blazer, which I think just kind of like frames the outfit really well. It's like smart casual. Obviously I'm literally going to eat a meal. I don't need to be dressed bougie, but I do kind of like to always look nice, you know, especially if I'm getting Instagrams, which I am for the brand. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Before we get any further into this vlog, you guys probably know what is coming by now. I wanted to chat to you guys about Skillshare. Those of you that do watch these weekly vlogs on the regular will know that I have been working with them on a long-term collaboration for a number of months now. I don't, I can't remember exactly how many months, but it's been a while. And I'm genuinely so excited about this partnership that I have with them because I love the benefits that you guys get from it as well. I absolutely love getting DMs off you guys saying that you've used my code to sign up to Skillshare and that you're taking new classes or that it's helping you with your schoolwork. If you don't know what Skillshare is by now, I don't know where you've been. I'm not gonna lie. It is essentially an online learning community that allows you to take classes in so many things. Now I say this in every video, but there really is something for everybody on Skillshare and I'm not exaggerating when I say that. And it is perfect for creative people, be it they're at the beginning of their creative journey or they're actual working creatives and they're using it to get better at a skill that they're already good at or take their learning to the next level. As I said, Skillshare has a range of classes, meaning there is a huge variety in skill level. You can start at a complete beginner or you can can go you know pretty hard like you already know your stuff the stuff the stuff for that kind of learning group too so skillshare classes include a variation of video classes and class projects so it is really really good if you want to keep switching it up as you can see on screen here the site is so easy to use these are a couple of my personal favorite classes as i've spoken about before i've done various different ones through my time using skillshare i started using it during the lockdown i started doing journaling and scrapbooking and then a little bit of photography and iphone photography so many different things and you guys know i'm a creative person as it is i have so many little creative side hobbies and you know interest especially when it comes to like photography and documenting stuff i mean just look at what i'm doing right now so i have an amazing deal for you guys and if you haven't used it yet i really think this could be for you by clicking the link that is the top line in the description for a limited time only the first thousand of you so that's like literally one thousand it blows my mind every time we'll get a two month free trial of a skillshare premium membership and after that skillshare is less than ten dollars a month and if you think of all the resources and all the learning you can do with this platform. I just think that that is a ridiculously amazing price. If you're watching this and you know that you haven't yet used that link but you've been toying with the idea on and off since you first heard me mention it or since you first heard it online, I really recommend that you take this opportunity and you use this vlog today to go and do so. It is also a really great tool to take your mind off things. If you suffer with anxiety or you're finding the world at the moment just a little bit too overwhelming, Skillshare is the best platform to use as a kind of outlet. That was really where scrapbooking and journaling was great for me during like the peak lockdown. I just loved doing that to take my mind off stuff but yeah if you think that that sounds like something you might be interested in as i said there will be a link in the top line in the description that you can click on to get your two month free trial skillshare premium let me know if you're already using it what are your favorite classes that you've been taking i'm always here for a bit of inspiration anyway we're going to continue with the weekly vlog it's a good one i'm excited for you to see the rest of it so without further ado let's flash back to friday Do you know what that's from? Yeah. What's it from? I don't need to prove it to you. I know what it's What's from. it from? Why do you want to know? Do you actually know what that's yeah. from? What's it from? Why does it matter? Because <laughs> you don't know it. I yeah. do. What's it from? Frozen. From why, why, frozen. Did that, why did you need to know? Because I thought you were going to say no. Anyway, uh, we've arrived at Meadow Hall. It seemed actually a really quick drive, to be fair. You smell. You've got it on the wrong way around, no, you muppet. Yeah. The metal bits for, the, for your nose. Yeah, but it's inside out. The white bits. <laughs> No, it's not. No, wait, no, it's a white mask. Oh, we just bought some more disposable face masks because Tom forgot his. 
Uh, I have a different one on again. I get so many questions. These are by Violet Sky by M over on Instagram. I don't really know why I'm wearing it now. Yeah, Violet Sky by M over on Instagram, but she has actually stopped selling them for the time being, but that is where they're from. Anyway, we're gonna go into Meadow Hall now. We've just arrived. Tom needs the toilet, so we're gonna go. here at Three Joes. Okay, we've arrived. Tom is here. Um, I'm very, very excited to have dinner tonight. Like, I'm so hungry, but we just need to get our table. So, we are at Three Joes. Here's Tom. He's not really been in the vlog, by the way. Oh. Were you just rubbing your eyes? You're tired. Oh, I like your top, actually. Tom got some new All Saint tops last weekend. And they're really smart. Anyway, yeah, we're here at um, Three Joes. It looks like this. It's a sourdough pizza restaurant, which I already explained is one of my favourites. And the, re the menu is just so, so good. They also have a really good cocktail menu, but obviously I am driving. So I might get I might get one or I might just get a non-alcoholic version because obviously like I don't really want to drink. Obviously. But the decor of this is just stunning. Like this is exactly how I would have a restaurant if I ever had a restaurant, like the fairy lights up here. In fact, if we ever have a kitchen, can we have fairy lights? I mean, are you telling me what happened fairy lights? Are you asking? <laughs> no, I'm asking you. I just think it would be really nice yeah. if there was like or outdoor decking. How nice would this look if we yeah, had outdoor oh, decking? Yeah, I really want to hear something like that when we have our own if we have our own house. If yeah. well. Yeah. Anyway, what are you going to go for? What are you thinking? Well, I actually really want a milkshake. Oh, you want a milkshake to drink? No, I mean pizza-wise. What pizza are you going to um, get? Wow, this shelf is perfect. It's like it was made for vloggers. It's no, no, the barbecue looks good. I'll have you on I'm thinking margarita and then I'm going to custom make the toppings. This is what I always do in places because I always want to like be fussy and add stuff and I love it when they give you the option to. Add the liqueur. Oh, you're going to get an alcoholic milkshake. You could probably add Bailey's or Amaretto, yeah. I'll update you with whatever we get. This is the menu. So these are the main pizzas here. I think, as I said, I'm going to go for margarita. So Tom got a, is it Oreo and Bailey's yeah, milkshake? So they do these amazing milkshakes. This just looks amazing on the menu at the bottom it was like you can add a shot of any is it a liquor or a liqueur i never know the difference it depends if you're american no it's not it's two different things a liquor is like a well, you got like a liquor store yeah oh that's true well basically he's added a shot of baileys to his oreo milkshake and i laughed at it and then when it arrived he was like oh have a taste of it and actually it's really nice and I feel bad for bullying you now because it was really good. Yeah, I can see you ordering like a second. Actually, actually no, that's so sickly. And we just ordered so much food as well. We have got garlic bread to share to start with and it looks really good. Tom, how much of your um, milkshake is left, approximately? Like a third. A third. How good do these mains look? So we've both got sides of what kind of look a bit like patatas bravas. And then Tom went for pepperoni, I went for margarita with peppers and onions. And this whole table just looked literally delicious, like a 10 out of 10. I'm so excited to eat it. out of Meadow Hall and I was just saying to Tom how Christmassy it looks like I associate Meadow Hall with Christmas anyway because I always used to come at Christmas and um, I mean you can't really see because of the rain on the windscreen but it looks like Christmas lights I know it's not I think they have these on all year round when it's dark but it just looks magical I also associate it with when I was at school they used to bring us on like a school trip to Meadow Hall every Christmas which is really weird but we are back in the car you can't properly see us how do I turn on my little light thing there we go not really any better you just had an idea and it's like Ding. Ding. Did you enjoy Three Joes? Yeah, it was really nice. It was so good. Honestly, guys, I can't recommend it enough. If you're looking for somewhere to eat in Meadow Hall that does amazing pizza, really good service, and just a little bit different somewhere you maybe haven't been before, it's a chain that I haven't heard of as much, but I would definitely go back. Like, yeah, what it was would, very nice. What would you rate your pizza out of 10? You're quite a harsh critic, so this is if it's above like a 7, that's pretty good for I'd me. I'd give it an 8. An 8 out of 10. The pepperoni was spicy. Yeah, to be fair, you're not a massive fan of spice, but I think no. that's just you being a bit But it was nice. Mm. It was very nice. Mine was so good. Also, mm. I really liked the potato. I was going to say they were they were they were nice. Yeah, I've had them before. No, it was like a nice change from having like fries or yeah. chips or something. Yeah, they were nice. Anyway, yeah, thank you so so much to the team at Three Joes for inviting us down to try the menu and to basically have an amazing meal. So, going to drive back now. It is what time is it? Half past eight. So we should be home for about half past nine. So it's not too bad, really. Mm. I've had a really nice evening. Oh. Thank love, you, Three Joes. Yeah, I love Friday evenings when we like do stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Also, I agree with what Tom just said. It does. It feels festive. It feels Christmassy. It does. And I quite like yeah, it. Yeah, I associate Meadow Hall actually with 
Boxing Day. We used to come and get the Boxing Day sales. Oh, are you crazy? Yeah. Are you crazy? It used to be a great crazy? day to be Boxing Day. You used to come to Meadow Hall on Boxing Day? Uh, we have done in the past. What's the matter with you? Why? Well, well, obviously, I can't imagine anything more chaotic. Yeah, but you get some right deals. Do you, though? Do you? Yeah. yeah, you do. No, you can online Boxing Day shop. I never get that. What do you mean, like back in 2005 when you couldn't really do that? Um, like five years ago. You crazy cat. I would I would never. Anyway, yeah, we are going to set off. Hi, morning. I'm back in a different car. It's not my car this time. I'm in my dad's car. Here is my dad. Because today is a very exciting day. Oh, that's an interesting coloured car. Oh, basically, I've been talking a little bit on and off in a couple of videos about how I've been thinking about changing my car and like upgrading my car basically just getting a new car so i'm actually going to test drive one today because i would never just buy a car without test driving it obviously i don't think anybody would but also like i'm still a little bit not on the fence about this specific car but just because it's so different to the car that i drive at the minute at the moment if you don't know i drive a suzuki swift and i have done for like two and a half years um i got it while i was at sixth form so i've had it for quite a while not like ages but you know, fair, fair amount of time. I'm very used to this car um, and it's very high up, which is what I like. Apart from the car that I want to get next is incredibly low down. It's kind of like a sports car, but not really a sports car, but like a bit of a sports car. Um, and I just think it'll be so different driving it. So before I really make up my mind 100% in my head, I want to drive it so that I can like, you know, really get a vibe for it. So should I say what it is? Not like going a Ferrari or a Lamborghini or something crazy. Basically, I want to go and test drive an Audi TT, um, which is like the smallest Audi model that they make. It's the coupe, coupe, coupe? It's a, it's a roadster, it's a sport, it's a roadster thing. A1's the smallest one they make. Is an A1 smaller than a TT? Yeah. Oh, A1's the it's, not, it's not the smallest. <laughs> yeah, well, an A1, I think, would was what I was looking at originally because that's very very similar to the car I drive just a nicer version and um, but in terms of like the build and the height and the kind of driving it would be like very similar um, but then I, I was kind of like nah I kind of want like a fun car I'm only going to be 20 well actually I'm turning 21 once like one day I'm going to have like you know life and perhaps children that wouldn't fit in a car like this and I feel like you can't really have that car when you're like an adult adult um, so I'm going to test drive it my dad's coming with me and the way it works at the moment is the nobody from the test centre is allowed to come in the car with you obviously because of like coronavirus so we've had to fill in like loads of stuff or not loads of stuff online but to sort out the fact that we're going to take the car with nobody in it um, which obviously is a bit daunting because like obviously not going to drive off in it but like we could drive off in it so yeah basically my dad's going to come with me i'm a little bit of an anxious driver when it comes to new cars i'm very used to my own car which i think is another thing that i need to not be put off by because otherwise i'll get in it and i'll be like i don't like it because i can't drive it but i need to bear in mind that like it takes a bit of getting used to like a new clutch and stuff what do you think yeah well i mean they're, I mean, they're gonna be okay because they've got this as a tea deposit that is so true yeah i do just get a, a stressed vibe like i'm so stressy in in these situations because i'm the kind of person i'm such a people pleaser that i just want everybody to not be annoyed at me so i'm the kind of person if they try and sell me a car i'll just be like oh okay 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 which is why my dad's here to put his foot down and be like she doesn't want to buy this car because the one i'm test driving today is out of my budget and also it's red and i don't want a red one and i know that's such a fussy thing to be like i'm um, so picky on the color but like I, I am picky on the color like that's the main thing i notice about a car as somebody that doesn't know that much about cars i look at the color and i'm like that's a nice color i literally sound like such a basic oh uh, i wouldn't buy a car if they didn't like the color of it yeah yeah well nobody wants to buy like a bright green car it's the biggest thing you spend money on and it's uh, you've got to be right in there so we're heading there now in the pouring rain The guy is actually driving in front of us because I said he can't be in the car with us at the minute. He just has to like go in front of us. Oh, there's some neon. I've got you already. <laughs> oh, funny that. Huh? It is now a lot later on. Wow, I look like I have a mane of hair. This is Hagrid vibes through and through. But I'm being lit by the telly. Lottie, come on up. I thought I'd just show you. Oh. Oh. Well, that was very rude. But it is now, as you can see, dark and a lot later on. And I, and I haven't actually done anything else since the test drive, really. Like, I got in and then I spoke to Tom and my dad about the car. Um, I really, really liked the car. I'm not going to really update anything until, like, it 
actually goes through because it's all quite up in the air. It's very up in the air still actually. Um, but I think I am going to be getting one. Not too sure when, not too sure how soon, but hopefully soon-ish. So it was, it was definitely a positive experience. I really, really liked the car. If any of you drive a TT, oh my God, such nice cars. Um, and if you haven't ever driven one or if you've never been in one, which is probably unlikely because there's not a lot of room for passengers, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they are really, really nice, really smart cars. Audi do just make like, oh, such good cars. Then since then, I've just been chilling really. Um, Tom and I watched Breaking Bad. If anybody wants to follow what I'm watching on Netflix at the moment, I'm watching Breaking Bad. And it's not my favorite. It's not as bad as I thought it was in series one. It's okay. It's definitely not something I recommend like high, high standard. Like I recommend the fall like so much, but like, yeah, Breaking Bad is okay. <laughs> I'm currently watching that and that's all I've actually done this afternoon. So I'm going to edit for a bit now. It's like a proper cold, cozy feeling evening. Like the living room just looks very like cozy and autumnal and dark. Look at that. It just looks so like autumn. Good morning. Say good morning. It looks like in the middle of the night. It is so dark, but it is actually half past nine in the morning. And I am going to a pumpkin patch today with my friend Gabby. So basically this is pumpkin patch kind of near York. I've never been to it before, but I think Gabby maybe has. I'm not too sure. Um, and basically very similar to the vlog the other week where we went to take photos. We're going to take photos and I'm quite excited, although it's raining. So I've got this massive coat on. I'll show you my outfit because I've gone for like an attempt at autumn a little bit. So we've got green. I wanted to wear orange, but I don't have anything orange. And then I've thrown this coat over the top because this is just like very, very warm and snug. And then I have these like chunky boots on with it because I wanted to wear these really nice heeled boots and a gray jacket because they match. But like, I don't really want to wear heeled boots to a pumpkin pack. Wouldn't be a sensible idea. So this is the outfit that I've gone for. Um, and I'm going to put a hat on as well because <laughs> kind of because I like hats. Kind of because I haven't washed my hair and the top of it. Ooh, is looking very dry shampoo-y. I mean, it looks kind of okay, but I think I might just also need a hat. We are marching across, no, not marching, mooching across. So much muddy soil. March. Marching, I meant mooching. <laughs> um, to the white, white pumpkins. That is a cute, what have you? You should get a <laughs> no, but I've never seen a white pumpkin before. Like literally, I don't think they sell these as frequently in the supermarkets and stuff. But actually, I think they'd be better for carving because you could draw on them. You could make really cool designs with these. Paint on orange ones. That is true. Oh, yeah, yeah, you would. I wonder if um, they taste the same and they carve the same. This is our collection so far of pumpkins um, for Gabby and me, not just for me. Quite a variety. We're trying to find speckled ones at the moment, yellow ones. So many. That may have all just looked really cute, but what you're not about to see is the hike we're about to make back across the pumpkin patch because it's so muddy and boggy that it's just a bit of a mission and neither of us have all these on. We both so have like, shoes. yeah, oh, our shoes are so bad. We're both wearing pretty much the exact same pair of shoes and they're just, <laughs> oh, they're horrible. And I love this pair of shoes as well. No, they're from Topshop. But yeah, they're very similar. In fact, Gabby and I actually have the same jeans the same shoes on the same belt and my jeans are actually from Primark. So, okay, so we probably we have the, the exact same, same jeans. Great. I'm gonna put the camera away because I'd quite like the camera to survive and me to survive. So this is goodbye. Now we're in a corn maze. Gabby and I just do the most ridiculous things for Instagram. It's like, you honestly have to question it, don't you? This is the state of the floor. Uh, if you're wondering what the, the sound is, that's us sticking to the mud. I feel like I'm in Leeds first. Uh, oh, actually no, to be fair, when I went to Leeds it was um, really sunny. When I walked in here I thought it looked a bit like a festival entrance, the way they've got the tent and stuff. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get my bag searched, get my vodka taken off me. Absolutely don't have vodka, guys, it's, it's a Sunday morning at a maze. A pumpkin patch aimed for children. This just got really weird. Anyway, we're walking and the noise sounds vile. Like, I mean, it's a pretty setting. ASMR video. ASMR, it sounds like somebody kind of chewing though. The hat's off because I'm sweating but we've nearly made it. I think we're almost at the exit. I thought this was aimed at children, but actually we did manage to need to use the map. Yeah, this has to be the exit. Oh, our feet are just sticking. This is a leg workout. They have like a wood fire pizza oven restaurant here. So we've got pizza and garlic bread. Here is Gabby, who photographing it. Oh, looks so good. 
I am back at home I'm in my dressing gown because it's cold and this is the coziest dressing gown in the world and now I have loads of like random little bits and bobs to do you know when you just have like a to-do list and everything on the to-do list is like one of those things that you've kind of ignored sorry about the angle I just I'm lazy so basically I need to call the hotel that Tom and I are staying at in a couple of weeks to try and book an extra night because we've had a right faffing around with the trains and we're gonna have to stay an extra night because we can't get home need to sort that out I need to sort something to do with the car um I need to sort I need to book a table at a bar I need to, there's just like loads of tiny little things but they all need doing so I'm gonna start with the phone call and then I'm having a roast dinner a big Sunday roast because it's Sunday feels very cozy very homely and I'm gonna show you the pumpkins that I got from the pumpkin patch as well because we've put them out on the um like porch way and some of them inside the house and it looks so autumnal and cute <laughs> So this is our little pumpkin display at our front door and I think this is really cute. This one looks a bit like a pepper. Obviously they're all quite small so they're not like, you know, super in your face and they're not full pumpkin size either. They're like on Halloween, obviously probably not this year but usually we would have like a big pumpkin to obviously say that we're like trick or treating. But yeah, I just think they look really cute and then my mum made a little display inside the house with the other ones. That is in our kitchen and it just looks like this and I think this is very cute as well. There's like three the same size pumpkins that we got. I think I got about, no it must be more than six, about eight in total. So there's three in the house and the rest outside as you saw but I just love this little like autumn tray that we've got on our work surface the uh, addition of the chewing gum isn't really adding to it but other than that it does look very cute so i'm gonna end this vlog here i currently have horrific pins and needles in my leg because i've been sitting on my knees ah why have i just started the vlog whilst this is happening Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed it. I've actually really loved this vlog. I just edited it. I, I don't know why I always film the video and forget to end it and then edit it and then realise I haven't ended it. Um, so I've edited it already and I really like it. It feels very autumnal, very cosy. I had a really lovely weekend and I'm excited for you to see the progression with the car situation in next week's video. Um, however, I'm going to go now. But before I do, I want to show you this gorgeous delivery that I got today um, from, I don't really know how to pronounce it. I want to say Carations, as in like creations curations um it's a little etsy seller two of you guys dm'd me and asked if i wanted any of the bits off your etsy and guys they're so stunning they have sent me these two beautiful drinks coasters that have like pressed flowers inside them so it's like clear acrylic and then pressed flowers but i just think these are the most beautiful coasters and then they've also sent me a little m um i don't think it is acrylic i think there's an actual word for whatever this is because i know that you can like mold it into these shapes i've watched people doing it on like instagram reels before but i just think that they're stunning and this is so cute as well so i love this thank you so much girls for sending me this out the two girls called amy and carmen and as i said they have the etsy curations i think i'm saying that wrong i'll leave a link to it down in the description because i think these make really nice gifts as well like they're really unique um so yeah thanks girls for sending me those other than that i'm gonna go now lots of of birthday content coming your way as this vlog goes up i'm currently on my way to york to go like day drinking slash for drinks with some of my school friends and i'm gonna vlog that i think i might do it as like a get ready with me because i'm really excited just to like get properly glammed up and celebrate my 21st the best way that i can if you follow me on twitter you might have seen this week that i said i was going to edinburgh i was meant to be going to edinburgh next weekend with tom that was like his birthday present to me he'd booked me this spa weekend i was so excited like for us to be able to go it wasn't the original plan all of the plans have just been completely cancelled basically edinburgh was like our reserve plan um and now that's been cancelled too because of the new rules in scotland there's just no point in going because we had loads of like tables at restaurants and stuff booked so luckily we've got a refund and we're not going to edinburgh but we are still doing something next weekend just not going to scotland um but yeah tomorrow i'm seeing my school friends and we're going to york so i'm just trying to make the best of a bad situation and i'm so excited to see some of them and yeah it's going to be a really good day so that video will be up probably on tuesday i think i'm going to put it as like a main video because i kind of want to do like get ready with me drink with me it's gonna be a it's gonna be a video so yeah subscribe down below so that you can see that if you haven't entered the giveaway live on my instagram at the minute make sure that you do because it ends on my birthday and you're not gonna want to miss it so i shall see you all on tuesday Bye, guys.